What is the fourth trimester? Well, I'm here to tell you. We all know about the three trimesters of pregnancy. The third trimester is the one just before birth, just before the life-changing experience of labour and delivery. Birth is a cataclysmic event for baby and for the parents, and the fourth trimester stage is the period where the whole family begins to adjust and to make the intense transition into life as a unit. It's a hard and challenging time for many. New parents are often told that the early weeks of their newborn's life will be magical and transformative and to treasure every moment. Or white floating nut curtains and sweetly sleeping blissful baby. But the reality often isn't like that at all. It can be very tough, absolutely exhausting and feel like something to be endured. Why is it so hard? Why does it all come as such a shock? Well, we human beings were never meant to parent alone and in isolation, lacking community support and sharing the trials of bringing up children. But that is where we find ourselves. That is where society has led us. We don't often tell new parents what it's really like, choosing only to share the happy part on social media and there's a significant lack of knowledge about what is normal. We no longer live in communities where we watch life happen in all its stages, watch babies grow up, watch teenagers become adults, watch older people decline. We just don't see life happen around us, so everything feels new and unexpected when it happens to us. And despite the technological changes to our world, babies' biology has not changed, which leads to this difficult situation. Often being able to survive something difficult is easier when we understand what is happening and why. Understanding what is going on in the fourth trimester can therefore be really useful and help a family to feel less helpless and feel more in control and also know what to expect. Plus, crucially, that it will not always be like this. It is a stage and it will pass. So, if the fourth trimester is the stage in the development of a family, we need to look at it from the baby's perspective and also from the mother's perspective as well as all the other primary caregivers. As a famous child psychologist once said, there is no such thing as a baby, there is a baby and someone. Both halves of the relationship matter if the family is to thrive. Babies are born at the right time in their development. They aren't born too early. That phrase can suggest that women's bodies aren't able to do enough. They are. While babies are indeed born at a vulnerable stage where they need near constant nurture, warmth, food and love, they have reached the limit of growth in utero and now need the opportunity to complete their development as human beings on the outside. Being out in the world gives their bodies and brains the chance to flourish rapidly, to learn about sight and sound, movement, language, relationships. Babies are born at the right time to allow them to thrive. This is why newborn babies expect to be held constantly in the first few months. This is completely normal. Their anatomy and their vulnerability make this clear. Being in a parent's arms held close to the chest is a safe place from the threat of the world outside. The skin-to-skin -skin contact brings many biological benefits. It regulates baby's heart rate, breathing, temperature, allowing optimum physical development. The soft touch reduces stress and provides security and stability so a baby can get on with the business of growing from a stable foundation. A baby who feels safe and secure and is warm and well fed can use their energy for growth and learning rather than for survival. Babies are born with nearly all the neurons they will ever have, but every brain is shaped in a unique, use dependent fashion. This is a process that begins early during the fourth trimester and lasts for several years. If babies are experiencing recognisable patterns of loving responses to their needs, closeness, kindness, gentleness, their brains begin to shape around that. 
the positive experiences they have and the environment around them help to build a happy brain that knows how to love and to be loved. No baby needs a perfect parent. A baby needs a real human parent. Human parents all get it wrong quite often, but that's important as this helps children to recognise that missed cues do not mean the whole relationship is unreliable. A stable brain pathway does not collapse just because a few interactions go wrong. Overall consistency is what matters, allowing children to build resilience and navigate an imperfect world. It's very clear that holding young babies close is the normal biological process of making the transition into a more alert state where they can then begin to connect with the world. It is the right thing to do for their physical and emotional development. They expect to be held all the time. That is normal. However, holding babies is tiring and can get in the way of all the other things a family needs to do to function. It's often easier to put them down. Society tells us to do this, suggesting that meeting babies' needs for nurture makes them clingy and dependent. But this is a major misunderstanding of how babies grow and develop. All babies will learn to feed themselves, sleep alone, walk and talk at their own pace. But their emotional security and independence need solid foundation to be laid first. Babies can only learn about relationships by experiencing them and enjoying a secure attachment with the primary caregiver is the bedrock of healthy relationships later. To be intrepid explorers, children need the security of a safe person to give them that confidence to go out into the world. And gradually they will stretch those comfort zones in their own time. You do not need to fear your spoiling your child by cuddling them or carrying them. You're building a happy brain and a securely attached person who will thrive as an adult.